Today I will talk about how to process the data in spectral domain of coherence tomography. This is basically the summary of the, uh, the data, how we can process. So we already uh, know what are the steps that you have the raw data file that is in binary. You upload the file and uh, get the information. Then first thing you have to do is uh, you have to remove the fixed pattern noise. After removing the fixed pattern noise, you can do the first Fourier transform, then do the zero padding, then again do the IFFT. That means in your data now you have the zero padded data. Then do the web calibration, and finally, if you want to clip the starting and the end of the image, you can clip some portion of the image and show the final data. So here are the data, that final output you will see. So the first step where you can see that the data with the fixed pattern noise here, all the fixed pattern noise. In this step we remove all the fixed pattern noise, there is no fixed pattern noise. But we did not do any kind of calibration or zero padding in the data. Then in the third step we did the calibration but no zero padding. You look you see that it's much better. Here a lot of blurriness, image is pretty sharp. What if we do just zero padding? That means from this stage to here and we can see that not much improvement from this stage to that stage. And finally if we do everything, that means if we do calibration and zero padding, we see a nice image. So these are the overall stage of calibration, zero padding and other stuff. This is the way you can capture the spectral domain OCD setup.